Okay, well, I'm having a lot of fun with this uh, step-by-stepper pulse motor that uh, Tin Man has given us. <laughs> and uh, it just gets better and better. And I go back to the circuit here, and it is a Bedini SSG circuit, basically. But it's running in a very weird configuration with this stepper motor. And the waveform, and Tin Man has showed it, does not look like a monopole uh, Bedini SSG. Uh, it's different. But what I am doing and what he is also doing now is he's upped, upped it. He stepped it up to run this on uh, 12 volts or higher. And when you get up that range, you've got to really start protecting this uh, transistor. And both of us are putting a neon in here. And this is something that the, all the dumb Bedini circuits incorporate so that when you don't pull off this uh, flyback or inductive spike, it doesn't go back into the transistor and blow it up. And uh, this will um, basically cause a dump action here to help protect that transistor. And it's just a neon. But uh, it goes off at about 70 volts and then, of course, gets brighter and brighter from there on up. Uh, the way that I've got this set up with just the 9-volt battery, it's about 80, 90 volts that that thing uh, will indicate that comes out of this tailpipe here <laughs> and the way it, it works is you go into a capacitor or something else and you come right back into the positive rail and this is like I say right out of a Bedini SSG circuit the only thing missing right here is the diode that usually goes between here and here and that diode the way I remember um, it explained to me helps snap that transistor on and off sharply and we're not using it on this 10-man um, circuit here. But uh, I've been able to charge and, uh, these and condition these 12-volt batteries very, very easily with this circuit. And let me show you uh, one of the reasons that uh, it's working so well. I've got a uh, photo flash camera capacitor here. It's 300 volts. Uh, it's about uh, 30 microfarads is all, but high voltage. And I'm going to show how I can take the energy out of this system, charge this cap up very, very rapidly, and then discharge it on this steel washer. And you're going to see a giant spark. But what's really interesting about the way this is set up is this neon will come on and glow uh, orange, showing the voltage. And like I say, it doesn't kick off until about 60, 70 volts, and it gets brighter and brighter. When I put the capacitor across here and start bleeding off the energy this LED will come on showing the current flowing into the capacitor then that LED will gradually go dim and this will come on bright so let me show you how that works okay there's the uh, machine running there's the uh, glow of the neon Now, what's going to happen here, you notice the LED is not on. Right here in the circuit here is going through the um, first diode, the one in 4007. It's a high voltage diode. It's going into the LED, but then nothing's happening. Everything's getting dumped through the neon here. Let me put the capacitor on here. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. There goes the LED, and it gradually gets dimmer and dimmer, and then the neon comes on bright. Okay, now the energy's in this right now. I've stored up about 100 volt, 90, 100 volts in that capacitor, and if I let that go all at one time, watch what happens. It even arc wells right onto that washer. There's the neon again on. Let me show how this charges back up again with the LED. The LED gradually goes dim. And there comes the neon back on. And this is the dance between voltage and current. The LED is showing the current. The neon is showing the voltage potential. And like I say, that won't trigger until it's 60, 70 volts. Then that will start triggering. Now I've got the energy back in this capacitor.
pretty impressive, huh? Let me show you how fast this will work, too. There it goes. So anyway, like I say, this little uh, device here, uh, and this this works great with the fan as a load. I'm not seeing uh, much heating of the motor until I get up above uh, 12 volts, and it starts to get warm. My little TIP3055 is hanging in there. It's not even getting warm, and I'm not quite sure why that's working also, except I've now protected it with this. And uh, like I say, it, it can charge out these 12 volt batteries very, very easily. And uh, it, uh, what it does is it's a conditioning process where you're knocking the sulfate off of one while you're discharging the other. Then you flip them around and you knock the sulfate off the one and you condition the other one. And then at some point in time, you have to add the energy back into this. And I'm using a 12 volt uh, wall wart, 500 milliampers, to actually put the energy back into them. But in the process, I'm making them stronger and stronger. Every time I charge and discharge these using this device here, I make these batteries stronger. And they become uh, better than when I started out. And I, the reason is, and Tin Man explained that, is you're knocking the sulfate crystals off the plates. And when you get them fresh and you get them top to back off, then you stop. Because as he explains, if you keep going with this, you're going to sandblast it like a sandblasting. You're going to be going beyond where you need to go. So uh, this little device, um, he's continuing to show videos on it. And I highly recommend you go to his channel. It's Tin Man Power. And we're calling this the Step-by-Stepper Pulse Motor. Very, very interesting. Thanks for watching.